Hi, I'm Zach Farmer with Examiner.com. Well, on Monday we're going to get the same old song and dance. It's going to be Gonzaga and St. Mary's for the third straight year in the WCC Tournament Final and for the fifth time overall. The two teams split the two regular season matchups with Gonzaga taking the one in Spokane and St. Mary's taking the game in Moraga. But in both those games, the teams weren't at full strength. In the game of Moraga, Gonzaga was dealing with the injury, a thumb injury to Robert Zachary, and when the Gales got to Spokane, Stephen Holt was dealing with a hip injury. And even going into this game, the Gales will still be without Stephen Holt, still recovering from a knee injury he sustained three weeks ago. But the key in this game is going to be Kevin Pangos. In the first game, they were able to contain him, the Gales were able to contain Pangos and limit his scoring. But in the second game, when Holt was injured, he went off for 28 points. If, they're, if the Gales are going to win this game, they're going to have to slow, slow down Pangos, and that's going to be, have to be a complete effort from Matthew Delvadova, Jordan Page, and Clint Steindl. Steindl has picked up his own performance in recent weeks, and in the last three games has averaged just short of 17 points per game. And for Gonzaga, they also have, for them to win, they have to play defense like they have in the past two matchups. Without Holt, that helps, but they also need to continue to play defense on Rob Jones. In the two games that they've played, Jones has had a combined 10 points in the two matchups. And another note on this game, in each of the past three games that these two teams have played in the WCC Tournament Final, no game has been decided by fewer than 12 points. With Examiner.com, I'm Zach Farmer.